are about to hit chest today. So we need to take our essentials. Pre-workout orange by bum. I love this one just because it's low ingredients and the caffeine isn't too much. So it doesn't make my heart pop out, but it's got enough beta alanine to make my fat face itch. Get that tingly sensation. Of course, some uh, creatine. Learned this the other day that you could take 10 milligrams of creatine and it won't do you any good. It's just like taking five is the ideal. It's what's your body only needs. The rest is wasted. So I've been wasting creatine for a long time. Shake it up here. I love this flavor just because it's it tastes like Sunny D, like a washed down Sunny D. It's not too sweet, doesn't you know feel weird in your throat or when you're drinking it and going it down, it goes on pretty smooth. And this is my crabby wife that's never impressed with anything. That's not nice. We have to burn that out. <laughs> Bye. So we're on our way to the gym right now. Chugging down my pro or my pre workout. And something I've been trying to do for the last couple weeks now is to get some carbs in before I go because I go at weird times. I've been going more in the mornings now. And I just wake up, get ready, and go straight to the gym. But I've noticed my lifts were not, uh, they were not the best lifts. Didn't have too much energy to do it. You know, I was pretty consistent. I was pretty good about it. But my, I got tired. I got fatigued too quick. Just didn't have the burst that I normally would. And now that I've been doing at least 45 to 50 grams of carbs, maybe 20 grams of protein. But what I did today was I had two and a half tacos, six inch tortillas. Between the two and a half tortillas were 50 grams of carbs and with some shredded chicken cooked with boiled, shredded it up and a couple of onions, some guacamole for the fat. So that was my first meal of the day. I took that about, what time is it? 12.22, so like an hour and a half ago. So we're gonna see how this chest day, chest day goes, trying to hit some PRs and uh, stay focused and motivated and just crush it. But yeah, so see you at the gym. So you're never too good to warm up. So I always like to warm up with the bar. Do like maybe 15, 20 reps. Ah, let's see. And then I work my way up. And now we're gonna slap some 25s on there and work our way up to 135. Don't forget to put your cramps on. Just because I've seen horror stories, videos of people, weights flying out, crap like that. But yeah, let's get this set. to be safe and sorry so if you don't have a spotter you use these bad ones but they throw me off luckily my sister and a couple buddies are at the gym so i'm gonna use them to spot me this next rep we're gonna try to hit two two ten feeling that ballsy just yet oh, shoot you think i can hit it
Not there quite yet. He'll be there soon enough. Oh. Like those first five move good. Right when I hit to five, I'm like, shoot, we're halfway there. Still a long way to go. And then I feel like my head is going down. Yeah. I saw that nine and I was like, oh, okay. <sighs> I get weird when I want for, ask for help. Sometimes I'm nodding my head and I don't. But then I get confused, say no, and I mean yes. That's where I fucking the cover comes off. The little sister is gonna to attempt to bench 95. Can she? I don't know. Find out. I'm gonna warm up just to all around, alright? She getting in the zone. Getting in the zone. Come on, push, push, drive, drive, drive. One more. Two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. Come on, don't be a little cat. Don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm not don't touching it. it, I'm not touching it. Come on, you had one more in you. Shut up, no idea. Yeah, you did. Want to put in a 2.5s in there? We got the whole hype team here. Come on. Huh? Come on! Bro. Huh? Come on! All right. Push, drive, drive, drive with your heels, drive. I can't. Drive it, come on, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. Bro, you helped me, that doesn't count. I barely touched it. Bro, you touched it. But I still helped you, but I touched it, but I barely touched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Attempt to hit 90s? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I kill myself. Maybe. Steps now. My little improvised MacGyver ice chair. Do three sets of these bad boys. Three or four, depending on how we're feeling. So let's uh, hit it. Last one of this one. Feel really good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, 
five and a half, six, not too bad. Could have done one more, but I go lift it before, so I'm gonna do three or four sets of these. Trying to not add too much weight, but just to focus on the time under tension here. So I get a good little pump here and contract that chest so I can get rid of my uh, man titties that I have. Super, super conscious about these bad boys, but it's my own fault to blame. What's up? Oh. Whew. Get that squeeze right there. Three, four, oh yeah, five. Oh, I feel it. Six, seven, eight. Uh. That was good. Feel a nice squeeze right here every time I, I pressed in. Felt really good. Go up a couple pounds. If you're adding too much weight, you can't get the form or feel that, that pressure, that contraction here, then, then don't lift more weight than you need to because it ain't gonna do you any good. Or you could. If you feel it though, if you're feeling that contraction, that tension, the muscle squeezing, then go ahead and do some crazy crap, but no. I say that, but then I end up doing it, so yeah. I don't know. I feel good, I feel good. I'm gonna be crying tomorrow. All right, that's, that's it for that. Now let's move to some cable flies. Those will be good ones too. And then three sets of these. Go. I feel good. I feel really good. Two more. All right. All done with that. I did some cable triceps. Then hit some pair of dues to cardio. It's gonna be one of my favorite workouts to do. That's 60. We'll start at 60 there. We'll do eight reps like this, and then we'll do some reverse ones. fat boy I've been bulking my whole life pretty much so now that I'm in this gym thing cutting down I'm gonna cut for 
for a while. Cut slash bulk, still like naughty here and there. I know I shouldn't, but it's all right. We're still making progress. Getting gains. I'm not out, that's a different mode. Burnout. We're gonna burn out. This. That's a great feeling. No better feeling than having your triceps just full. And then a little bit of that, but oh gosh. Feels really good. Really good. Now I'm gonna hit some posing. Well I have this pump and then do the unwanted, some cardio. thing and I'm gonna hit about 20 minutes all right so all done back in black Betty got myself a premier protein still some after the gym's got 30 grams of protein 160 calories one gram of sugar that's not too bad I usually would bring my protein shake back to the to the gym with me so I can have it right away but forgot and our gym sells these so I'm gonna chug this down here well I'm still in the what do they call it the anabolic window so I so I get my my I don't lose any gains we don't want to lose any gains because that's not bueno no good mm. there was a clunk in there not good but tasty It's a wrap. It's my first video on YouTube since maybe nine months ago. But I'm probably gonna be uploading, gonna try to upload at least once a week or twice. I, st I started off last year around this time at 283, now I'm at 253. And I mean, I feel better. A lot more energy, a lot more focused. Mentally, I feel better and uh, it's a lifestyle, you know, I'm not trying to, I don't know. I just uh, want people to see that if I could do it, you could do it. Part of the battle is just getting up and going to the gym. Once you make it there, you're going to grind because you're going to grind. Don't be scared that people are going to make fun of you because you're a big boy or you're a skinny kid, you know, trying to lift weights and stuff like that. We're all there to get better and to feel better and to make progress. 
no one's going to make fun of you because you're trying to make progress. So just go there, hit it, grind it, stick to a plan and fight battles, fight demons. And it is the best, you know, it's a feeling that being at the gym is a feeling that I can't explain. I can't explain it. Once you're there and moving and grooving, it's a feeling that it makes you feel like you're on like you're high, you know, it's a good high, but your conscious high, you know, so I don't know. That's it, guys. I'm going to go home to my child and wife and eat a meal and then have quality family time. See you guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a beautiful comment. See you later, guys.